Mabuhay Pilipinas! Pinabati namin kayo mula dito sa loob ng arena sa lungsod ng San Juan para sa pagpapatuloy ng second round of elimination sa men's basketball tournament ng Season 91 ng NCAA. Magtatapat sa ating unang laban ngayong Webes ang San Sebastian College Recoletos at ang kumpunan. Ni The Fortune Cookie Atoy Ko ang host school ng ating tournament ngayon ang Mapua Institute of Technology. After missing the past three games for the Cardinals, muling nagbabalik ang team captain ng Mapua na si Josan Nimes. Sabi niya, 80% recovered. Si Nimes ngayong araw, tignan natin kung papalaruin siya ni Coach Atoy Ko. Sa napaka-importante bakbaka na ito, it's Mapua versus San Sebastian to start us off ngayong Webes at sa ating pangalawang laban, ating mapapanood. San Vera College, the defending champions, taking on the Jose Rizal University Heavy Bombers. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagtutok ngayon sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action sa Balls, Sky Cable Channel 167 in high definition. And we are also greeting everybody watching all over the world via the Filipino channel and everybody watching via live streaming on TFC.TV. Ako po ang inyong lingkod, Anton Rojas. And breaking the game down with me today is Coach A.G. Alan Gregorio. Magandang hapon, Anton. Magandang hapon din. Ano? Or good morning sa ibang mga nanonood sa atin. Good evening sa mga nanonood sa atin sa Amerika. Pero alam mo, itong laro na to, very important, especially for Mapua. No? Maganda nila laro na. There were games they were supposed to win. Yes. Or they should have won, but they lost. But there were games also that they should have lost. Tulad ng first round meeting nila against San, San, itong Kupan ng San Sebastian, which they were able to win. Ito na ang pinakamagandang season ng Mapua under the tenure of Coach Atoy Ko. Limang panalo. They only won six games in the first two seasons under Coach Atoy Ko. Five and five sila ngayon sa team standings. Very much alive to make it to the final four. Three and eight naman ang San Sebastian. Well, very important for Mapua right here. They're knocking on the door of the JRU Heavy Bombers. And uh, just one win will make them just half a game away from the JRU Heavy Bombers. While San Sebastian naman on the other side would want to really have a hold of that number seven spot after this ball game. Nung unang naglaban ang San Sebastian at Mapua ngayong season, pagalingan sa opensa ang ating napanood. Mapua had five players in double digits. Ang San Sebastian naman four players in double digits. Kaya lang sa dulo ng laban kinapos na ubusan ng bala ang San Sebastian. Well, this was the game I was talking about, no? Two minutes and 29 seconds when San Sebastian was still up by seven points, but it was a 9-0 to zero run going to the end of the ball game, and in the end, it was Mapua that emerged victorious, 88-86. to 86. Alam mo, Coach Alan, maganda naging simula ng Mapua sa second round of eliminations after, uh, or talking about uh, San Sebastian, after defeating Letran, nabigo sila kontra sa LPU. Sayang yung pagkakataon ng San Sebastian after beating previously number one team, Letran, they fell in their last game against the Pirates. Well, yun nga sinasabi natin, no? the inconsistency of their ball game is very much evident here in this uh, season 91. And uh, if, if there's uh, one thing for Coach Atoyko, he would want to have that kind of consistency going to the ball game. At uh, yun din naman ang nagiging problema ng kopana ng, ng San Sebastian. Meron sila mga pinapanalo, but those games that they were supposed to win, they're losing. Tignan natin kung magiging uh, mas maganda ang performance ng dalawang big men ng San Sebastian ngayong araw, Michael Carisan at Bradwin Ginto. Sa kabilang panik naman, itong kupuna ni Coach Atoy ko ang Mapua in their last game against Perpetual. They only played with 10 players. Coach Atoy called them the magnificent 10. Seven rookies, three veterans, at ito ang mga nag-step up. Ito, napakalaki mga numbers ito. No? Si Ezekiel Rob Biteng at 12 points and 4 and uh, was it four triples for that ball game? Four lat, out of four, actually. Lat, lat pala ng tinira niya na yun, at 12 points, no? galing from beyond the arc. John Nieles, nine points, three assists. And ito si Darrell Menina had nine points, two triples, four assists, and two steals. That's just a big ball game against Perpetual. Pakita ninyo ang inyong suporta para sa Mapua at San Sebastian at upang malaman kung paano yung magagawa yun, punta natin ang pangatlong miyembro ng ABS-CBN Sports Broadcast Team na si Roxanne Monte Alegre. Roxanne? Thank you very much, Anton. Yes, mga kapamilya, alam mo naman natin ang question for the day. Aling team ang tahanan ng tibay? Kung gusto niyo sagutin yan, gamitin niyo lang ang hashtag NCAA Season 91, hashtag galing SSCR, hashtag galing MIT. At para naman makita niyo ang rankings ng tweets ng 
para sa school nyo, pumunta lang sa website na sports.abs-cbn.com. At para naman matag nyo rin ang napakatikas na mga kasama ko ngayon, ang IG ni Anton Rojas is Anton Rojas at syempre may Twitter si Coach Alan sa Coach Alan G. At para naman sa akin, Roxanne Monte Alegre sa Instagram. Kaya huwag na kayong mahiya kasi baka yung tweets nyo na ang ma-feature natin live dito sa game. Anton? Maraming salamat, Roxanne. Ayan ha. May Twitter na ang aking kasamang si Coach AG. Just follow him at Coach Alan G. At mukhang nga enjoy na enjoy ka, Coach AG, sa Twitter mo. Well, alam mo, hindi lang basketball ang mga tinitweet natin. Ano? Marami tayong mga tinitweet about the environment and anything that's happening under the sun. So, abangan nyo lang kung ano mga sunod natin ititweet. At abangan po ninyo ang pagtutuos ng Mapua at San Sebastian sa aming pagbabalik dito lang sa NCAA Season 91, ilabas ang galit. Connection on this 3rd of September, a Thursday for a doubleheader in your Season 91 NCAA Senior Division. Let us meet the starters. First for the San Sebastian Golden Sags. At point guard number 4, Ryan Costello. The off guard number 13, Jamil Ortuste. Center number 5, Bradwin Dinto. Forward number 12, Jarek Fabian. And at power forward number 7, Michael Kalisan. Head coach of the Golden Stags is Rodney Santos. And now starting with the season's hosts, the Mapua Cardinals. Power forward number 12, Justin Serrano. Forward number 13, Daniel Aguirre. At center number 10, Owell Oraime. Point guard number 14, Daryl Menina. And the off guard number 4, Exi Pite. Head coach of the Cardinals is... Mabuhay Pilipinas, Pilipinas at maraming salamat muli sa inyong pagtutok ngayon sa aming exclusive ABS-CBN Sports Garbage ng Season 91. Ng NCAA, we have San Sebastian taking on Mapua in our first game ngayong Uwebes. Ryan Costello, Jamil Ortuste, Bradwin Guinto, Michael Calisan, and Jerek Fabian, the usual starters para sa kubaran ni Coach Rodney Santos. At para naman sa kubaran ni Coach Atoy Ko, we have Menina, Ezekiel Biteng, Owell Oraime, Justin Serrano, and Daniel Aguirre. Now, we all know what happened nung unang nagharap ang dalawang kubaran na ito. It was an offensive display from both the Cardinals and the Golden Stags. The Cardinals are the number two team. Pagdating sa opensa, Eter Mang San Sebastian has the highest scoring starting five in the NCAA. And you know, that's a classic ball game, no? Mataas ang scoring, pero dalawa lang ang ipinanalo no? ng uh, kubunan ng, uh, ng, Mapu ng Papua coming from, from uh, behind that ball game. Maraming nga nagsasabi, no? Nung 2 and 29, nagpatay na raw sila ng kanilang mga ng mga TV because really it was a complete uh, a game that that was uh, yung maganda, maganda, maganda yung, uh, yung simula ng, ng San Sebastian hanggang, hanggang dulo. Pero tulad nga ng sinabi mo, Ton, ano? Medyo nabitin, no? Nabitin ang kumpunan ni Coach Rodney Santos. Actually, Mabua scored the last nine points. They closed out that game with a nine to nothing run. Pero siyempre, malaking bagay yung dinaro ni CJ Isip sa laban na yun. He had 14 points in that game to go along with three assists. Ortuz, they had a big game. When they first met, 21 points for Jamil Ortuzte to lead all scores. And you know, that's something that Jamil Ortuzte does not really do, no? He penetrate hard and try to post up against them his matches. Man-to-man, -man, ang ginagawa ng Papua to start off this match against San Sebastian. Ngayon, ang importante para sa Golden Stags. Kailangan mainit ang kanilang magiging simula dito sa laban na to, Coach Alan, because remember, in their last game against LPU, they trailed at the end of the first quarter, 22-9. to yeah, This is a good start for both of these squads. You see the aggressiveness, this good defense at the part of San Sebastian. Three on one, but it's all well Araime, who's there as the last line of defense. Ito maganda ang decision na to, dito si Costello. 
tatlo sa limang starters ni Coach Rodney Santos nakapuntos na Costello, Ortuste, and Kalisaan. Ano magiging sagot ng Cardinals? Hinahanap nila si Allwell sa ilalim. Brad Wingito, tinawagan ng foul. You know, well, when uh, all things fail in offense, you have to go for the high percentage shot. Pero ito, balikan muna natin ito. So, magandang depensa ng San Sebastian. Ito yung sinasabi mong 3-on-1. Fast break opportunity, fast play of the game brought to you by Smart Live the Smart Life. All well, Oraime was the last line of defense. Smart move by Costello to just stop and drain that jumper. Pero ang rookie na si Minina, nakalusot at nakapunto sa ilalim. Alam mo, usong-uso yan ng araw pa. Ano yung ganyan? Sabi nga, dati pag naglalaro ka, tapos yun, oh, hindi pwede yun! <laughs> diba? Nakaw pa yun. Nakaw, hindi pwede yun. Nakaw. Oh, what a move by Jeric Papian! Now, four out of the five starters have scored for San Sebastian. This is the best scoring starting five in the league. Oraime with a fadeaway. Bitin. Menina nakalusot. Bitin ang kanyang tira. Ito na si Ortuste. Umarangkada. Ortuste. Sumaksa. Dumira. Masyado malakas. Oraime with a rebound. It's Mabua basketball. Menina, umatake, naagaw. Costello to Ortuste. Ortuste in attack mode today. Bothered by Oraime. Piteng. Serrano swings it to Menina. Back to Piteng. Fade away. Off the glass. Yeah. In. So it's not all three-point shots for exit kill. Piteng. That's coming up a nice play. The dribble pull up, just a five footer. That's si Fabian. He's not a no? After that nice penetration, an open three point shot made by Fabian. Pero ng lima puto si Jeric Fabian, who has started nine out of 11 games. Para kay coach Rodney Santos, ngayong season 91 of NCAA, he averages 6.8 points per game. Justin Serrano. One of the all-stars para sa Mabua, nakapuntos na rin. You know, Justin Serrano is really a perfect four for Coach Atoy Ko. He has a nice range, magandang uh, mga nagiging decision sa laro. At ito, pinag-uusapan pa lang natin siya. He's there to get the defensive rebound. Menina, pinasa sa kanto. Bite, naagawan. Ortuste, tumatakbo. Pinasa kay Quinto. Quinto! We'll head to the line for two, attacking the defense of Allwell Oraime. At alam mo bakit maganda yung naging desisyon na yun itong si uh, Jam or Tuesday? It's because his big, his big was running. So every time tumatakbo yung big mo, kailang susuklian mo talaga yan. Dito natin itong master guapo move of the quarter ni Jeric Fabian kanina. Watch out for more guapo moves powered by master. Sikreto ng mga guapo, 13 to 8 ang ating talaan. Lamang ang San Sebastian kontra sa Mapua. Mga kapamilya, nang galing man sa big win, aminado pa rin si Coach Atoy Ko na very pressured ang team niya to sustain their insurance for every game. Gayun pa man, sisikapin nila na magkaroon pa rin ng very good ball rotation na ginawa nila sa last game upang makakaangat sa kanilang performance. At sa dagdag pa niya, kailangan nila ng maturity, composure at focus para mag-finish strong ang team niya. At very deeply affected talaga siya. And inamin din niya na emotional siya na Toyan, Roxanne, maraming salamat sa report mo. He used to play for Mapua, was the MVP way back in 1971 of the NCAA. And just an honor to have a legend in Atoyko. And speaking of MVPs, this guy, Rodney Santos, the new head coach of San Sebastian, was also a former NCAA MVP back in 1994. Sabi, no? Alam mo, si Ang uh, mga kilos na when he was still playing professional basketball. First 5,000 points scored in professional basketball was scored by Coach Atoy Ko. Even the first 10,000, that is Anton. The fortune cookie. Atoy Ko, and now he's trying to guide these young Cardinals. JP Nienes, who a three-pointer para sa Cardinals ngayong araw. 
coach Atoy Ko said that he had mixed feelings going into their game against Perpetual. Didn't expect to to win that game, but they won 70 to 65. Here at Nidaran Menina. Good luck, Cardinals. My brother, Shane Menina. Ayan. Thank you for getting uh, involved sa ating social media discussion. Hindi mo na sinabi yung ano yung Woohoo! <laughs> Napansin mo pa yan, Coach, ha? <laughs> Alam mo, they're, they're just uh, proud of their brothers playing here in the, in the NCAA. Uh, ganun naman talaga, no? Pag uh, yung kapatid mo nag-coach or uh, being on, on television, I'm sure your family is very proud of you, to, no? Every time may kita ka nila sa TV. At ito nga, yung mga suporta ng mga pamilya when they're watching their um, brothers play here in the NCAA. That's true, Coach AJ. My mom always watches me all the way from Alameda in California. Yung We're greeting everybody watching there, aming mga kapamilya, watching in the States or wherever you are around the world on the NCAA. Sikil the most accurate marksman in the NCAA. He's a 63.9% three-point shooter. Well, he's just deadly. I played against this guy in uh, in juniors basketball, and I don't know what kind of preparation. Unang unang bilis, yung bilis to mire. Pero yon kailangan niya talaga ma-improve, no? Ball handling skills. Costello, pinalik kay Ortuste, natapik ang bola. Foul na naman kay Nieles. Pakalawa na yan, coach. That's going to be big. This was the shot. Pero ang ganda ng pagkakasetup no? ni uh, Nieles with that wide open shot from Ezekiel Piteng. That was the 23rd three-pointer of the season para kay Ezekiel Piteng. Shane Menina, muling nagbabalik sa laban dahil meron ang darawang foul si JP Nieles and Jamil Ortuzde. We know he's not gun shy. You know what's with this left-handed guy? You know, how they can <laughs> how they can take those three-point shots without really any effort. Speaking of three-pointers, here's another one. Kaya lang, hindi sa tinira ni De La Rosa. Foul is on Michael Kalisaan. And for the first time since August 4, that was the last time we saw Josa Nimes. He is back for Mapua after missing the past three games with an injured right hamstring. Talagang ano eh, no? Talagang isang buwan eh. No? Took one month. You know, you know why he's lucky, Anton? Dahil uh, nagkaroon pa siya ng recovery. Yes. Dahil nga dun sa, sa All-Star break. No, at saka sa one-week break na ginawa nitong uh, NCAA. And nakatulong din, Coach Alan, that Mapua has only had one game so far in the second round. As Costello knocks down a triple. Five uh, points na para kay Costello. Just like what you said, no? He's already 80%. Of course, uh, that's still better. A Jossan Nimes was uh, 80% is still much better than oh, other guys. Oh, 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 oh who uh, play 100%. Pero ito, magandang high-low play ito. Just like what I said, again, good recognition. Serrano to Allwell Oraime. Ayan na, Coach AG, mga Mapua fans, welcoming back the King Cardinal, Josan Nimes. Thank you, Angelo, for your tweet. The chirping Cardinals. Josan Nimes is back. And speaking of Nimes, inside pass to Allwell Oraime could not get the finish. Pero pupunta siya sa free throw line. Well, I was gonna count that one uh, rebound that he had and one great assist. But not yet, not yet because Allwell Oraime missed that easy shot. Pero sa aming pagbabalik, Allwell Oraime titira ng dalawang free throws. Huwag po kayong alis. Ito po ang NCAA Season 91. Ilabas. Ang galing. Muling nagbabalik ang aming exclusive ABS-CBN sports coverage. NCAA Season 91, ang starting point guard ng San Sebastian, Ryan Costello. Ito ang kanyang mga numero, Coach AG. Well, ito, maganda yung uh, against uh, LPU. He had 8 assists, but he had 6 turnovers, no? So, season average niya, yung assist to turnovers niya, 
4.6 as against 4.3. So na nawawala yung ganda ng, uh, ng pagpasa niya because of the number of turnovers that he has per ball game. Costello fouled out in their last game against LPU. Michael Calisan also fouled out in their last game against LPU. At uh, talagang uh, panaking kawalan yun para sa kubunan ni Coach Rodney Santos. Considering na alam natin, Costello and Calisan play heavy, heavy minutes for the Golden Stacks. Well, he has five points, two out of two field goals for Ryan Costello. Well, all well, Oraime has to sink one to fit in one assist. Para dito kay uh, Josan Nimes. So just a four point lead after being down eight to two. Nice adjustment on the part of the Red Shirts. This is an interesting lineup now on the floor. Para kay Coach Rodney Santos. Pihira natin makita to, ha? Dito lang ang natitin ang starter ni Coach Rodney Santos. And they look out of sync. Gito trying to muscle his way out of trouble. Tinabas ang bola. Ito sa tira ni Preta. Gito wants to set things up. David back up top to Sibal. Kitap-kita, hindi masyadong familiar sa isa't isa ang lineup na ito. Bihira lang to. Normally, there are at least two starters for Coach Rodney. That's right, that's right. Oo, tatlong gwardiya to ang pinasok dito ni Coach Rodney. And this was a back screen supposedly, pero pinasa nga ni Bradwin Ginto. Coach Rodney Santos installing the triangle offense. Intricate offense. And now his bench players will have to try to use that system in the actual game. Nimes. A more controlled game mula kay Josa Nimes sa kanyang pagbabalik ngayong araw. Well, it, was a good, it was not a good foul on the part of Preta. Masyadong malayo pa si Josa Nimes. Maatras na nga eh. No? Pero yun, hand check ang itinawag. Sibal, Preta, David, Santos, and Quinto. We rarely see a lineup with four bench players on the floor for San Sebastian. Jos Santines, his first basket since that game against the College of St. Benil back in August 4. You know, he has really improved on uh, his decision making. Look at this. He saw the closeout. There was uh, an opportunity for him to go for a higher percentage shot. Strong move of the game brought to you by Smart Live, the Smart Line. That's his first basket after almost a month. Beat us a season 91 in NCAA. And Mabua wants to keep a win streak here. Santos pinasa sa ilalim. And Jason David scores. One good move on the part of Jason David. Although Oraime was not there, he had to go to uh, close out against an offensive player. So, apat pa rin, kalamangan dito. 23-17. Hirit ni Downey. Magbabounce back ang Stags. Pero ito naman ang sagot ni Espe Balanay. Let's go, Mapua. Kahit nag-aaral siya sa isang uh, calculus quiz, sinosuportan pa rin niya ang kanyang kubunan. 23 to 19, San Sebastian on top. Nimes. What a dribble. Bitin lang yung kanyang tira. Nimes with a steal. Under a minute to go dito sa first quarter. Nimes, binagsak ang bola kay Branya. And Branya will head the line for two. And again, you know, that's another great assist in the part of Josan Nimes. Look away pass. Look at this in-out dribble. Looked at Oraime and passed the other side. Mark Rania, one of the three veteran players. A magnificent 10, as called by Coach Atoy Ko. Only 10 players. Nagsuta para sa Mapua. Sa kanilang huling naban kontra sa Perpetual. And they scored the upset victory 70-65 to ngayong araw. CJ Isit, Andretti Stevens, not suited up for the Cardinals, but Josa Nimes is back.
Matagal-tagal na rin, ha? Nawala ito si CJ Isid. Of course, he's so much missed by the Demapua community. Pero makakabalik pa ba? Anong balita dyan, Ton? Hopefully, we can get an update but it's a injured elbow which he also hurt during their game contra sa CSB last August 4. Nimes. 13 remaining in the first quarter. Nimes able to draw a foul. So that would mean two free throws. Again, another good decision. No? Nakita niya, no? They're closing out on him. They're not allowing any three-point shots on the part of uh, Josan Nimes. So, ito, si CJ Isit. Tsaka si uh, Andre. Ay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it's Andre Felix. My fault, my fault. Nakasama niyo mamaya, Andre Felix, Mix Bustos, Siege Tantenko covering the San Beda and JRU matchup right after this one. Between the Cardinals and the Golden Stags. Dos Aquinas, the number 12 uh, draft pick two weekends ago. Well deserved. One of the most versatile players. Nating napano dita sa NCAA. Preta, Tumira Salabas. Within. Rebound is good for Santos, who scores. At the end of the first, it's Coach Rodney Santos giving these players coming off the bench an opportunity to shine, and they did not disappoint. Golden Stags making some contributions, not just the starters like Jamil Ortuste. Other guys stepping up like David, Santos, Sibal, Preta, Ganadi. Can they hold the fort? Yung po ang ating aalamin mamaya sa pagpabalik ng bakbakan sa pagitan ng Stags at Cardinals. Yan yung pong napapanood ang Season 91 ng NCAA. Hatog sa inyo ng ABS-CBN Sports. I'm Ron Ross, kasama si Coach Alan Gregorio at siyempre at courtside to complete our broadcast game today. We have Roxanne Monte Alegre. This is a very interesting unit right now, Coach Alan. For Coach Rodney Santos, no starters on the floor. Santos, David, Preta, Sibal, and Bulanadi to man the fort for the Golden Stags. Let's go now to Roxanne Montelegre. Thank you, Anton. Para kay Coach Rodney Santos, itong second round ang kanilang pagkakataon to turn things around. At iniwala siya na ang kailangan ng Stags ay ang killer instinct. At para naman sa larong ito, ang goal niya is for them to lessen their turnovers, to control their aggressiveness, and to minimize the thing. Pero para naman sa team niya, puspuso na talaga ang kanilang pag-e-ensayo, and this is not the time for this. Back to you, Anton. Maraming salamat, Roxanne. Kailangan talaga mag-double time na ng mga Golden Stags dito sapagkat 3-8 and eight sila sa team standings. Could this be a gamble on the part of Coach Rodney Santos? No starters on the floor. You know, what he's doing here is he's trying to preserve his starters to have a uh, the same kind of energy going to the fourth quarter. So I'm sure he has uh, figured out na pagdating ng dulo, no, nabibitin yung iba niyang mga, mga laro. So, dito, quality pa rin naman to. It's been almost four minutes, no? And uh, even uh, without uh, scoring anything, pero yung depends ang ginawa nito si Preta. Eh, ot okay na yun dahil sa ipinahinga nitong si uh, Jam or Tuesday. Jam or Tuesday, number 10, pagdating sa scoring sa NCA, 16.3 points per game. The lone veteran on the floor para kay Coach Rodney Santos. Jem Irish Aguirre is cheering for Mapua. Down right now by two. Almost a steal para kay Bulanan. A lot of forward passes being done by Mapua. No, parang uh, minamad, uh, hindi naman minamadali. Binibilisan nila yung uh, tempo ng laro because they feel that uh, they have the deeper bench going to this ball game. although wala nga si CJ Isit no? at saka si Andretti Stevens. Yenyan Aguirre, you saw him on your screen a while ago. Meron ng dalawang puntos dito sa laro nito. Stephen Q, pintis ang kanyang press, but he gets a steal. Stephen Q, dere-derecho with the finish. 
Good anticipation on the part of Steven Q. 4 to 0 run. Now we've got a tight ball game. Unang deadlock. Ngayong araw. Santos, binalik kay Jamil Ortuste. Santos, supalpal! Nira Flores. So stepping up on the defensive end. Mapua after that steal, that nice block. Ito muna, balikan muna natin ito yung anticipation and the finish from Steven Q. Last play of the game brought to you by Smart Live the Smart Life. Fabian back in the ball game along with Costello. Now the three starters are on the floor and Jamil Ortuste lets it fly and cashes in. You know, Fabian was already tempted to take that shot, pero nakita nga niya. No? And I don't see uh, Jam Ortuste. Always nice to have that extra recognition every time you play in that basketball game. Tempted ka, pero kita mo to. Oh, yeah, titira na. Oh. Huh? Wide open, kat na malayo, alam niya. Kayang kayan ni Jam Ortuste. Ortuste is to Mempakpa. Jam Ortuste. That's his 37th main three of the season. He takes. 8.6 three-point attempts per game. Not that time. Ortuste actually took 13 threes in their last game against LPU. Ortuste takes it hard to the rack. Oh, 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 oh. na para kay Jamil Ortuste. You see that he really wants to win in this ball game. Starting strong, not just from the three, also defensively. Now five to zero na naman. Oh, ito naman uh, San Sebastian ang uh, umaalagwa dito. Nimes, five to shoot. Nieles, top of the key three. What a pass by Josa Nimes. That's the second triple para kay JP Nieles. And you know, unofficially, ah, parang uh, tatlo na yung assist dito. Nitong si Josa Nimes. You would think he's the one taking the shot, pero hindi. Ito, nako, yung talagang delikado. Cross-court passes, a no-no. Stephen Q turns around and scores. Great steal by JP Nieles. You know exactly the kind of ball game that we saw in round number one. Yun na naman ang nakikita natin dito. No, another uh, cross court pass. Wala. Yun ang inaanticipate ng players ng Papua, yung mga cross court pass. And you're right, Josa Nimes does have three assists in this game. Pangan sa ilalim. Huli doon si Flores. Look at this steal by Jamil Ortuste. Master Guapo move of the quarter. Watch out for more Guapo moves powered by Master. Secreto ng mga Guapo. Caldwell Oraime has been quiet so far para sa Mapua. Just three points and two rebounds. Thirty-two all. Pangalawang deadlock dito sa ating taro. Fabian, binagsak ang bola. And David was not ready for it. 32 all. Babalik po ang season 91 ng NCAA. Ilabas ang gali. Ngayon yung natuto ngayon ang kampo ni Coach Atoy Ko, Mapua Cardinals. Already the highest win total of Mapua under his tenure. At ito ang mga marksmen ng Cardinals. Well, we were talking about this guy, Spiteng, Stephen Q, Josa Nimes for this ball game. Tingnan mo naman yan, ano? Pero hindi lang pala, season pala yan, 59% from Piteng. Wow! Bumaba na nga ng bahagyaya, kanina 63% yan. Number one, pagdating sa three-point field goal shooting, ang Mapua. Sabi John Michael Angelo, he's watching right now on Balls HD, Sky Cable Channel 167. Ito si Therese naman, kahit nagre-recover siya from asthma, pinapanood pa rin ang NCAA Season 91. Thank you so much. And we hope you get better soon. Lamang na, mabuha. This is the first lead of Papua, actually. But Jamil Ortuste, that's his third triple of the game. And he's got a total of 15 points. Look at his bench. 
and he's not gonna hesitate in taking those three-point shots. Jump or two step. He takes 8.6 three-point shots per game. Nimes putting the moves on Jeric Fabian. Look at this. Ankle breakers. Kala mo, dalawa lang, you know? Apat. Change of pace, change of direction. This is just great ball skills on the part of Josan Nimes. For a guy who's six foot three. Dito sa Pilipinas. Now has a total of seven points, one rebound. He's got three assists. Ties the ball game. Tignan natin. Kanyang second free throw. Walong putos na para kay Josan Nimes sa kanyang pagbabalik ngayong araw. After almost a month of not seeing action since season 91 of NCAA, he's the number three scorer in the league, averaging 18.4 points per contest. Ortoste. Three seconds at Tinawag before Ortoste could get a shot off. And this time, there were two Mapua shirts. Papu Mapua players, I should say, no? Who closed out on jump or two step? Hindi bali ng uh, dalawa kami. Wag lang ikaw ang titira. Three out of four si or two step from beyond the arc ngayong araw. Nimes naman ang titira. Pero may banggaan na nangyari sa ilalim. Bradwin Ginto. Tinawagan ang foul. Pangalawang foul na yan ni Bradwin Ginto. Well, he's got to push out all well Oraime. There's one thing that uh, he's ensuring, no? Na wala sa loob ng paint. Itong si Allwell or Rime. Ayun, huling-huling. Yakap. Bite. Serrano. La pass para kay Oraime. Masyadong mataas. Costello. Ortuste. All the way. Wala. Niluwa ng ring. Jamil Ortuste. That was halfway down. Nimes now. Binanggan depensa ni Quinto. Back and forth action ang ating napapanood. That's a foul on Nieles. That's number three, Coach AG. And you know, if we can go back to that sequence right there, a better decision for Jam or Tuesday is to pass it back to Ryan Costello. That's very, very clear. That's a secondary break. Not something that coaches would really want to see in a ball game. Si Herman Shane Menina mulik nagbabalik para sa kupunan ni Coach Atoy ko after those three personal fouls by JP Nieles. Lamang ang Cardinals, 36-35. to At nagbabalik ang NCAA Season 91 dito lang sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action. Mga kapamilya, huwag natin paralabasin mamayang halftime ang ating feature school for today, ang Mapua Institute of Technology that produced the likes of Alvin Patrimonio and their very own fortune cookie, Coach Atoy ko. Ipag-trending natin yan mamaya, ha? Anton? Alam niyo na kung anong hashtag ang inyong gagamitin. Galing, MIT. Sakto-sakto. Mapuan naglalaro ngayon. Josa Nimes in his return. Playing well. Ating i-feature ang kanilang eskwelahan sa ating halftime break. And you know, Anton, there's another Mapua Cardinal no, who's a legendary basketball player. That's Freddy Ubalde. Ortuste, tinawagan ng foul. Panoorin natin muli. Josa Nimes. Very, very smart foul on the part of John Ortuste. Sideline inbound now. Oraime wants it down low against Quinto. It's a clear out. Oraime with a jumper. Look at that follow through. Bago yun na. Something that he has, uh, actually a lot of them have really developed those kinds of moves. At ito na si Michael Kalisaan. Bumipiesta na naman sa ilalim. Limang putos para kay Michael Kalisaan. Ganon ka-importante ang floaters. No? It's something that you can use, a shot that you can use against the big men. Michael Kalisaan showing us how to do that. Jerick Papian, tinawagan ng foul. Panoorin natin itong tira ni Orwell Oraime who was not 
one of the offensive options for Mambu at the start of the season. But he has grown tremendously. At the end of the first round, he was number one. Pagdating sa MVP race. The 18-year-old from Nigeria, Allwell Oraime. And yeah, that's something that, that I didn't expect. Yeah, Allwell Oraime. When I saw him uh, during uh, the preseason tournament, I thought it was just going to be uh, an, just one of those big men playing here in NCAA. But he has really proven me wrong. Has he proved so much? Of course, you've got big man coaches. You've got Coach Ed Cordero right there. He's good. You have face up jumpers. You've got uh, all those good coaches from the Mapua Cardinals. Well, we know Coach Ed Cordero coached Sudan Daniel back when he was in San Beda. And that jumper by Oraime was something Sudan Daniel was very good at. As we see, Josan Nimes drives straight to the rack. Alisan fouled by Biteng. And Ortuz, the, no, kanina hindi niya pinasa yung ganon. Now, now he has learned his lesson. I'm sure that the coaches were able to point that out. But first, what a finish on the part of Josan Nimes. Strong move of the game brought to you by Smart. Live the smart life. Michael Calisan, the pride of Santa Rita, Pampanga. Another product from Pampanga making his way to San Sebastian. At uh, sinabi sa akin ni Michael Calisan, ang nagdala sa kanya sa San Sebastian ay ang kanyang third cousin na si Ian Sangala. Part of the Pinatubo Trio. Uh, of course, Ian Sangala. Always a dear player, uh, close to, to all of us and very close to the hearts of the NCAA community. Former NCAA MVP, Ian Sangalang. Back in 2012, NCAA season 88. Josa Nimes playing in his final year. Banging bodies with another guy playing in his final year. Bradwin Quinto, both players have already been drafted to the pros. Costello, nothing but net on that shot. Pakalawang three-point basket. Ryan Costello. And I really like the quality of this ball game. No, it's been roller coaster. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. How many lead changes? That's something that we'll be checking at the end of the. That's going to be the third. Thank you for for that, Pinisan Antona. <laughs> third lead change, two deadlocks. Josa Nimes underneath the Justin Serrano. Well, we know both these teams are offensive-minded. We have the best starting five in San Sebastian. We have the number two scoring team in Mapua. Alam mo, most of the time nga, pag nakita ka ng, ng uh, Kopuna na malapit sa 90 ang score, no? 88. Usually, makalaban, 60 lang. Yes. Pero in game number one, 88-86. So, ang taas ng points combined ng parehong Kopuna. That was during uh, their their game in uh, game num nung, ano, nung first round. Ortoste, I think he's playing a smarter game now. He had a chance to shoot a three, decided to drive, drop pass para kay Michael Calisan. Oh, getting his teammates involved, but he was fouled. That would mean two free throws for Jump Ortoste. 15 points already. Jamil Ortoste, part of the four peat of the San Sebastian Staglets, was teammates with the likes of Almond Vosotros. Yutian Andrada, RV Bringas, and Ryan Buenafe. Nagsikap din yan, naglaro sa Team B sa FEU for two years before coming back to San Sebastian and finally making the lineup in season 88, or sorry, season 89 and season 90. Uh, back where he really belongs, no? Dito sa uh, gold shirted San Sebastian Stags. Two out of two for Jamil Ortuste. How time flies when yes. I was just watching <laughs> these guys playing high school basketball. And now they're they're the ones really uh, just showing their work, their wares here in NCAA. All well, Oraime, La Paz para kay Nimes. That was a dangerous play right there. Pero mananatili ang bola dito sa panig ng Mapua. 6-0 run on the part of San Sebastian. A minute and six seconds remaining, first half. Steven Q looking for Nimes. He gets it to Nimes. Nimes looks up at the shot clock. It reads 10. It's now at six. 
Rebound, Michael Galisan. 50 seconds to go here in the first half. Ortuste, pinasa kay Fabian. Fabian, dinabas kay Costello. Costello, all day to shoot. Rebound, mapupunta sa San Sebastian, Jeric Fabian. Quinto, from the free throw line. Tabi ka ng bola, mapupunta sa number one rebounder ng NCAA, all well arrive. Nimes. Serrano, high low play para kay Oraime. Banggaan na naman. We're talking 6-5 versus 6-9. Ginto giving up four inches in height, Coach AG. Well, you know what Bradwin Ginto is doing. He's pushing around. It's si Olwell Oraime because of the power being shown by the big man. No, but the double foul is being called here. Pero masakit yan. I think Bradwin Ginto already has three fouls. That's huge. Pero dapat Coach AG masanay na itong si Bradwin Ginto dahil sa professional league, mas malalaki yung mga makakatapat nitong si Bradwin. Well, you know, one thing that he has to learn is uh, to get the advantage no, or uh, just fronting the defense. Pero ginagawa niya dito, talagang power against power, no? Against the skills of Allwell Orion. Q. 12 seconds to go here in the first half foul on Costello. That's going to be two free throws. And you know, if uh, Stephen Q will make these two free throws, that would mean another lead change here in this ball game. Only 10.3 seconds remaining. That's a good call. But reaching out was uh, the defense of Ryan Costello as Stephen Q. Usually, in no the first round, no, puro three-point shots lang. Nakita natin dito. Now he's defending, finishing, penetrating. He's got a total of five points and a rebound. Stephen Q. He's a streaky shooter, a transferee from the University of San Carlos. It's Cebu. Tapi ka ng bola. Oraime with the offensive rebound. Oraime foul na naman. Well, that's what an offensive rebound can do for you and who's going to push him out. He's just so tall and so strong playing inside. All well, Oraime. Almost 33 minutes per ball game. <laughs> 5.7 rebounds so far in the game. Make that six points now after that free throw. Well, these are the usual numbers. Well, not much rebounding here in the first half for Allwell Oraime. Look at that. Two out of two from the big man. William Pakakaton para sa San Sebastian. Ortoste lets it fly. That's an air ball. He wanted a foul. Allwell Oraime, the number one rebounder, the number one shot blocker in the league. But this game has been all about offense. The number two team, pagdating sa opensa, ang Mapua, letting it fly from beyond the arc. They've knocked down three triples so far. Josa Nimes returning to his first game since August 4. Labang ang kanyang kubunan. 45-43 here at the half. Papatuloy ang nagbabagang aksyon sa hard court ng season 91 ng NCAA at the half. Ang ating talaan, 45-43 to lamang ang Mapua Institute of Technology kontra sa San Sebastian College Recoletos. At sa lahat ng mga PLDT Home and Smart subscribers, you can enjoy entertainment everywhere with the country's biggest selection of videos on demand from iFlix. Butan nyo lang ang iFlix.com and start your complimentary 14-day trial Today, what we expected dito sa Bakbakan, sa pagitan ng Cardinals at Golden Stags, a highly offensive one. Barila ng ating napanood sa first half. We saw San Sebastian, the starters, going at it. Jamil Ortuste shooting the lights out. He already has 17 points. Sa kabilang panic naman, 9 out of the 11 players na pinasok ni Coach Atoy ko ay nakaputos na. Exactly, what a shootout, no? You know, if you're going back to uh, the first round, kung ang first half nung, nung game na yon is 44 43 if you're gonna divide this. So parehong pareho, no, it's gonna be another shootout. That's what we're gonna be expecting here in this ball game. And it's not only a shootout, it's 
an accurate shootout, Coach AG. Almost right. 50% from exactly, both sides. Exactly, no? 47%. Para dito sa kupuna ng uh, San Sebastian, yung uh, three points nila, six out of 15. That's not bad. Rebounding is 14. And going naman to the Mapua Cardinals, you're talking of 49%. Three out of 10 from the three and 19 rebounds. And of course, wala pang, wala pang second chance points. But wala dyan, no, no? yung apat or lima. We have to double check that. Na lead changes na nakita natin sa first half. Ito, magandang uh, shot chart ito ni Jamil Ortuste. I mentioned a while ago, he takes 8.6 three-pointers per game. Pili ang kanya mga tira, Coach AG. Meron siyang inside, meron siyang outside. Yung mga penetrations niya, tsaka yung mga dish, uh, yun ang uh, kinatutuwa natin. Actually, the first two points for Jamil Ortuste was a point inside the paint on a mismatch. Tapos, ilan yung kanyang steals, ilan yung kanyang layups, and not all three-point shots. Pero, alam mo, yan ang tinasabi natin, oh, 6 out of 11. That's a very efficient basketball being displayed here by Jam Ortuste. 17 points, 4 assists, Ryan Costello, 8 points, 3 assists, and Michael Kalisaan. Not much here in this game, pero yung anim na yan, konting-konti lang ang mintis niyan. Ang inihintay pa ni Coach Rodney Santos, si Brad Witt Ginto, just one point so far in this game. For Mapua, I'm sure the entire community is happy na naglalaro na ulit si Josa Nimes. Well, coming off the bench, 10 points. Nung una, hindi pa nga kumakamada, eh, no? Pero pagdating nung uh, latter part ng second quarter, doon na sumubok na umi score itong si Josa Nimes. He's got 10 points and he's got 3 assists. Neles, quality ball game, has got 3 points. And uh, uh, 8 points, I should say. And all well, Oraime has seven points and seven rebounds at the half. Coach AG, you made a good point a while ago about the strategy of Coach Rodney Santos. Bihira natin makita na ginagamit niya ang kanyang bench. Here in the first half, already 10 players ang ginamit ni Coach Rodney Santos. And at one point, no starters on the floor. Exactly. You know, exacto yung uh, paggamit niya. Second quarter, a time when they were leading um, in the ball game. So kung uh, talagang uh, susugal ka, at gagamitin mo yung bench mo, dun mo gagamitin, not to start the ball game, but in a, in a time na medyo ikaw ang, uh, ang uh, mas magandang nilalaro. So hindi man nila masustain yung, yung kanilang kalamangan, masusustain naman nila yung energy nila going to the latter part of the ball game. Because we were talking about what happened the first in the first round, Kinapos at San Sebastian sa dulo, Mapua was able to score the last nine points of the game to take the victory in the first round. Ayo ni Coach Rodney Santos na maulit ang nangyari sa kanila noong first round kung saan naubusan sila ng bala. Maraming salamat muli sa inyong pagtutok ngayon. Anton Rojas kasama si Coach Alan Gregorio at the complete our broadcast team for today. We have Roxanne Monte Alegre reporting at courtside. Josa Dines is back, Coach AG. Good performance so far. Three out of seven. Ten points to lead Mapua in scoring. Passing great, about Para kay Josa Nines. And do we expect to see more of him here in the second half? Well, we expect na uh, mas maraming uh, pahinga pa rin na makikita tayo kay uh, Josa Nimes. He's not being started by Coach Atoy. Here to start the second half. Menina doing very well. Mexiquel Biteng is not gonna hesitate. That shot. And that was over jump or Tuesday. So sabi nito si Biteng, kung kaya mo, kaya ko rin. Pangalawang tres na yan ni Ezekiel Bitek. Meron ng walong puntos dito sa larong ito. Trying to respond on the other side. Talisan. Turns around. Hook shot. No good. Rebound. Para kay David. Talisan. Sumobra yung kanyang shortstop. Hindi muna ginamit ni Coach Rodney Santos. Si Ginto dito sa larong ito. It's David on the floor. Or two step. Bitin, yung kanyang jumper. Mark Branya. Running over the defense of Jeric Fabian. And he's able to score. The veteran has four points. Alam mo kung bakit hindi pwedeng tawagan ng uh, offensive foul? Kasi hindi naman niya niliparan eh. No? He got the advantage. Nakita niya, kailangan niya mag-sidestep ng bahagya. At yun, ginamit niya yung kanyang katawan. So he did not really force the issue. Veteran move para kay Branya. Bitin yung dress ni Ryan Costello. Menina. Orchestrating the offense para kay Coach Atoy Ko. 
Biting sees daylight. Offensive rebound para kay Oraime. Binangga ng dalawang golden stands. At may tinawag na foul dito kay Kalisan. You will not hesitate in taking the outside shots. That's Ezekiel Biting. Knowing that all well Oraime is there to get the offensive rebound. Nobody to match up at this point, at this time, for the San Sebastian Stag without Bradwin Quinto. Last play of the game brought to you by Smart Kid, the Smart Life, Mark Coragna. Sinagasaan ng defensa, that was the play we were talking about a while ago. We already got it, si Michael Calisan for resentment to a call. He found out in the last game contra sa LPU. At ngayon, meron na siyang three personal fouls. Fabian, nahihirapan. Got it across just in time. Ortoste. Cross-court pass. Costello, binigay kay Fabian. Double team. Costello to Ortoste. Umatake. Ortoste, cross-court pass. Fabian, shot fake, drive. Kalisan from the baseline. Bit in. Rebound, Oraime. That's 11 rebounds now for Oraime. Bitig. Zigzagging his way to take that shot. Wala. Cross court pass. Menina naman. And Shay Menina knocks it down. Seven points. Para kay Menina dito sa laban na to. And don't look now. 53 to 43. San Sebastian has not scored here to start the third quarter. Ton. Biggest lead of the game now for Coach Atoy Post team. Fabian in and out. And all of a sudden. Hirap sa opensa, itong kumuna ni Coach Rodney Santos. Bitig from the outside, in and out. Almost an offensive rebound para sa Mapua. Moraime could not hold on to the basketball, napulot ni David ang bola. Fabian, Costello over Moraime. That's a good extra pass on the part of Jerek Fabian. First two points for San Sebastian here in the third quarter. Zone defense ang pinapakita ng gobernan ni Coach Rodney Santos. Branya wants it down low. Cross-court pass stolen away by Jason David. David, dere-derecho. At pinahol ni Aguirre itong si Jason David. Punta natin ngayon si Roxanne Montealegre who is at courtside with the parents of Josan Nimes. Thank you, Anton. Yes, we're so lucky to have the parents of Josa Nimes with us, who came all the way from Arizona, USA. Hi, Mommy Susan. How did Josa start to play basketball? I started to play basketball in fifth and sixth grade in Sydney, Australia. And then, the passion is really basketball. She's with her dad when there's an all-Filipino basketball in Plankton. There's a lot of conferences there with the father of the young ones. And then from there, we moved to Avonde, Arizona. Then we played basketball, club basketball. All right, now I have your daddy, Manny. How did your son, how as parents, were you able to support your son because you're living abroad? Actually, we started to play here in the Philippines. Every year, we travel to Kame, or right now, we travel to Kame, we travel to show support for my son, Josa. Because he's one of them here, so he needs to support. If he's not in the situation, we travel to Kame every year. If you don't have a live show, how do you watch your son? I'm so happy that we have the ABS-CBN and the NCAA. Because the sports channel of the ABS is a lot of sports sports channel ng ABS, na, na, nakita ko nga, nabasa ko na baka coverage ang NCAA live. So, ang ginawa ko, nagpa-subscribe na ako ng TFC straight away. So, nakasabi sa ko na kami, napapunod namin live. That's, uh, that's the good thing. Live namin napapunod yung NCAA. That's very nice. Very supportive of Nimes. Back to you, Anton. Thank you very much. Napapanood nila si Josa Nimes all the way from Arizona via the Filipino channel. Thank you very much to the parents of Josa, Manny, and Susan. Magbabalik po at Season 91 ng NCAA.
sa lahat mga fans ng NCAA, the games are being broadcast live worldwide on ABS-CBN Sports in Action, particularly in the USA, Canada, countries in the Middle East, sa Europe, Australia, Japan, and the rest of the Asia Pacific. The NCAA is also available via live streaming sa online platform TFC.tv. Wherever you are in the world watching the games, maraming maraming salamat po. We have exciting games today. This one, an offensive duel sa pagitan ng Stags at Cardinals at mamaya mapapanood natin ang San Beda College versus the Heavy Bombers ng JRU. Piting, tumiro sa labas. Bitin lang. Well, ito sa third quarter, medyo no, marami ng bitin na tira itong si Bitin. No, baka napapagod na. So we expect some uh, changes on the part of Coach Arthur Cote. This is Stephen Q. Sino papalitan? Bitin na eh. Nabibitin eh. So, baka napapagod na nga ito si Exikel Bitin. Stephen Q. So far in this game has five points. One of the spark plugs, the coach Atoy Ko. Jamil Rotuste, what a game. What a first half so far for him. The number 10 score in the NCAA, averaging 16.3 points per game. Pero na siyang labing pitong puntos dito sa ating laro. But you know, so far here in the, the third quarter, some handcuffs being uh, yes. put on to him by the defense of the Mapua Cardinals. Aguirre launches for three. Pratnia with a rebound. Nine on the shot clock. Nieles, double team. Q with a fake, with a drive, he traveled. Well, that was already an open shot in the part of Stephen Q. His teammates telling him and urging him, dapat tinira mo na yon, you know? Another tweet from Sheridan Adriano, working while watching. Sana di mahulit nila, boss. Ayan mo. Nag-tweet din kanina si boss eh. Nanunood din siya. So okay lang yan. <laughs> Tapi ka ng bola. Mare-recover ni Spencer Preta. Preta gives it to Guito. San Sebastian has to shoot. Triple on the way. No good para kay Vera who just checked in. Mark Branya with a foul as Michael Calisan was running down the floor. Well, it was just good timing. May kita mo talaga veterano na, no? Nung may kita niya, it's a foregone conclusion. Makukuha talaga ni Olwell Araime. He started running, that's the lick out, and here's the finish by Branya. That would mean two free throws. Branya with four points in the game so far. As David, also another product from Pampanga, checks back into the game. Bradwin Ginto, relax, relax lang si Bradwin. Maski na wala pa siyang nakukuha ang field goal dito sa larong ito. Hindi, napapangiting na siya. Dahil kanina pa siya box out ng box out. Pero nakukuha pa rin ni Olwell Oraime yung bola. Pero isa pa lang ang tinitira nitong si Bradwin Ginto. Hindi siya nabibigyan ng opportunity. And you know, that's a good point uh, right here para sa kupuna ng, ng San Sebastian. Baka gusto rin nilang atakihin yung depensa nito si Olwell Oraime, no? Para na sa ganun, mapagod din to si Olwell Oraime or at least try to put him in early foul trouble. Oraime is only the true center. He's the only true center on the Mapua lineup. So that's a good ploy. But Oraime taking care of his fouls is something that he has learned. I remember the first game of the season, he fouled out very early against San Beda. And since then, he has learned to take care of his fouls. Siyempre, nung unang laro, ano? Daming tao, tapos sila pa yung host. Although he played very well for that ball game. Ito, is this an opportunity for Bradwin Quinto to score here in this ball game? Running opportunity sa loob-loob niya. Akin na to! Bradwin Quinto, unang puntos. Para sa San Sebastian. Nieles. Pinasa. Naagaw ni David. David to Spencer Preta. Bitin yung kanyang layup. 
Sayang ang pagkakataon. Look out below! Oh well, Oraime throws it down. I like the baby steps, no? the timing for Allwell Oraime, something that he has really improved on, even getting that ball on the break and finishing with a slama jama. Strong move of the game brought to you by Smart. Live the smart life. Labanan ng dalawang centro. Bradwin Ginto. Para sa San Sebastian at sa kabilang panic naman. All well. Oraime. That's the matchup. For both teams today, the featured matchup. Nimes. Back on the floor para kay Coach Atoy Ko. Nimes. Huge advantage against Vera in the post. Nimes decides to back up. Nimes putting the moves on Vera. That's a foul on Vera. Now let's take a look at this one more time. JP Nieles finding all well Oraime with the baby steps and a master guapo move of the quarter. Watch out for more guapo moves powered by master. Secreto ng mga guapo. Sinasabi ng iba, that could have been a uh, travel, eh, no? Pero uh, it's a clear let go. Mabilis na mabilis yung... Pagkaka-shuffle niya. Oh, yeah. This is the biggest lead of the ball game, 61 to 51. Still a 10-point lead for the Red Shirts, the Mabuwa Cardinals. Nimes. Dunyele, supalpal ni David. Jason David. With the... Uh, his energy similarity similarities with uh, CJ Perez and Calvin Obueva, <laughs> also from Pampanga. Mas maliit na version. Eh. That's a great play. That is a great play. That's going to be the third option, but the timing and when the pass was made, that made Mabua very happy. And of course, Mabua president, Dr. Ray Vea and his brother, OBV. Doy Vea, that's all well Oraime right there. Pangatlong personal foul na yan, all well Oraime. At ito yung play and the vision of Juan Josan Nimes. Fourth assist para kay Nimes dito sa laro. Q, back to Nieles. Gives it up to Nimes. Nimes looking for all well, he gets it down low. All well, double team, pinasa kay Q. Q, to Mira. One-handed floater. Bitin, rebound Vito. Ito na si Ortuste. Cross-court pass. Foul kay Nimes. there on Rosa Nimes as we have a minute and 57 remaining dito sa third quarter. Well, not allowing the fast break is the Mabua Cardinals. They're making sure not to rather give up the foul rather than an easy two points at the point of San Sebastian. They have not set up Jam or Tuesday here in the third quarter. I have not even seen Jam or Tuesday make or take a single shot. Wala pa. Wala pa. Hindi pa tumitira itong si Ortuste dito sa third quarter. But as you said, he's been handcuffed by the Mapua defense. Papian, umikot. Created space. Rebound, Oraime. Biggest lead of the game para sa Mapua. Nabig dalawa. Nieles. Lost his footing. Nieles, 10 points, 4 out of 5 from the field. Very efficient for Nieles, who picked up 3 fouls early in the first half. 80% shooting and uh, just doing a good job. Quarterbacking for Coach Atoy. Jam or Tuesday, still no shots. Bradwin Quinto, finally, they would want that ball inside to Bradwin Quinto. Yeah, sabi ni Olwell Oraime, wag ka nang fumaul, nandito naman ako eh. Bradwin Quinto, that was only the second shot 
Here at the March, watching the NCAA while reviewing for tomorrow's exam. Galing at dine describe panila kung ano ang kanilang ginagawa while watching. The NCA, merong may asma, merong <laughs> naguhugas ng pinggan, merong nagtatago sa boss. <laughs> pati yung, ang hindi nga nila alam, pati si boss nagtatago sa kanila eh. <laughs> Di ba? At saka yung mga may asma, alam mo bakit? Ang dami kasing smoke belchers. <laughs> <laughs> follow my tweet, Anton. Follow yes. my tweet. Follow Coach AG, guys. <laughs> Stop everything. Stop what you're doing and follow at Coach Alan G on Twitter. 65-53. Ang ating talad. Less than a minute to go in the third. Inside pass. Gito. Babalik sa free throw line. And now he's getting the ball inside. Tama yung ginagawa nito si Bradwin Gito, no? After setting a screen, he's just rolling hard, getting that ball, taking it strong. An opportunity for him to score and try to get the foul from the other big man while Olwell Araime is not playing at this point of the ball game. Bradwin Quinto was drafted 14th overall in the draft two weeks ago, professional league. Seven points now for Bradwin. Go down low. Serrano. You know, post that. And Serrano is able to score. Well, there was help side defense on the part of Bradwin Guito, but that just shows the kind of uh, upper body strength that Serrano has. He's been moving well without the ball. And don't see Jason David, one of the better finishers inside the paint for Coach Rodney Santos. Jason David right now playing the power forward position. Para kay Coach Rodney. Jos Santimes. It's his time now. Seven seconds to go. Here in the third. Nimes. A burst of speed. At may tinawag na foul. Dito kay Costello. And that's going to be a good foul. That's just going to be the fourth team foul. With only two seconds left. Here in the third quarter. Nimes making his return after hurting his hamstring on his right leg. That's August 4. Nimes has to fire. Bothered by the defense of Brian Costello, but at the end of three, ang kanyang kumran, labang ng sampo. 67 to 57. Highly offensive affair between two very offensive-minded teams. Ezekiel Biteg. Lighting it up from beyond the arc. He's got two three-point bombs already. And then there was this highlight play from Allwell Oraime. 67, 57, na mga mapua kontra sa San Sebastian. Fourth quarter, susunod na. Yan yung pong napapanood ang Season 91 ng NCAA. Enjoy na enjoy ang mga estudyante mula sa San Sebastian at Mapua na nanunod ng live ngayon sa arena sa lungsod ng San Juan City. Tuloy ang ating bakbakan na Ton Rojas kasama si Coach Alan Gregorio. We also have Roxanne Monte Alegre at courtside at dire-direcho. Itong si Jason David. Kaya lang bitin yung kanyang layup. Babalik ang bola sa panic ng Mapua Cardinals. Nang hinayang itong si Bradwin Ginto. He was able to get that offensive rebound pero dumulas. Yung kanyang uh, handle sa bola. Alam mo, nung uh, first quarter, itong San Sebastian had 61% field goal. Second quarter, they had 33. But a big struggle here in the third quarter, or in the third quarter, with only 22%. Zero out of three for a jump or two step. Mas humigpit ng depensa ng Mapua. Sa third quarter, kaya naman, nahirapan sa opensa ang San Sebastian. They will try to get back in the groove as they see Ryan Costello cutting and scoring in the paint. And that's going to be a good ploy on the part of Coach Rodney Santos. Bring that ball inside. They've been happy taking the outside shots, penetrating. Radwin Quinto really has to be able to touch that level. Menina, tumira sa labas. Challenge ni Fabian. Wala rebound Quinto. Costello, pinasa kay Ortoste. Dolok pass. Quinto, sinagasaan ng depensa. 
Pero tinawagan ng traveling, sayang ang pagkakataon. Hindi makapaniwala si Bradwin Quinto. I'd like to see that again, Anton. Well, I felt it was a good finish on the part of Bradwin Quinto. First, this nice pass. Nag-dribble kasi si Bradwin eh. Well, we can uh, check that. That expression says it all for Bradwin Ginto. Our officials for today, Romy Mangibin, Jaime Rivano, and Eric Viray. Sa puntong ito, balikan muna natin si Roxanne Monte Alegre kasama ang kapatid ni Bradwin Ginto. Salamat, Anton. Mukhang marami talaga tayong bisita from abroad. Kasama ko ngayon si Jerwin. Hi, Jerwin. Ask lang namin, oh, how, is, how is it like to be Bradwin's little brother? Uh, it's kind of cool because their brother's a professional basketball player. So, yeah, and he's playing with Pacquiao right now, Kia. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay. Now, um, I also want to ask, can you share something about your brother that the fans don't know yet? What is he like as a brother? Uh, it's pretty cool, I guess. Basketball, you know, tell me what to do and that. So, yeah. Ayan, sana Anton maglaro siya dito sa Pilipinas. Back to you, Anton. <laughs> Maraming salamat, Roxanne. Speaking of younger brothers, my younger brother, Julian, is also watching all the way from Pasay City. Thank you for checking out NCAA Season 91 games. And if you're wondering kung bakit ganun ang accent ni Jerwin Ginto at yung accent ni Bradwin Ginto, they were born in Orani, Bataan. Well, well, Bradwin was born in Orani, Bataan, but his family moved to Australia. At doon sila lumaki. Kaya ganun ang accent. That's right. Pero alam mo, nangangamusta ka na rin no? ng mga younger brothers. Si Coach Ryan Gregorio, no? Yeah. Ulit. <laughs> Sama mo na rin daw siya. And of course, a good friend, DJ RD, big fan of Mapua, also enjoying this ball game. Will we see another comeback? Nung unang naglaban, ang dalawang buko na na ito, Mapua won via a comeback, scoring the last nine points of the game. Ortoste, bitin yung kanyang tres. Ortoste has gone cold here in the second half, Coach AG. Bitin! Ngayon naman, sumobra. <laughs> hindi na, hindi na, hindi na bitin eh, no? Ay, nakapahinga na eh. Oraime, tinawagan ng traveling. Panoorin natin itong Master Guapo Move of the Quarter. Watch out for more Guapo Moves powered by Master. Sikreto ng mga Guapo. That's an 80% Josan Limes. 80% lang yan. Kaya hindi nga siya nagpapakita no, ng masyadong uh, power. Puro skills lang. No, some floaters, some jump shots. Uh, giving that ball to an open man. This is a wide open shot. Those are shots that has to be made by the guards. Mangihinayang ang koponan ng San Sebastian with that very wide open five-footer from Ryan Costello. Balikan natin itong sequence na ito. Jason David, binidikitan si Joseph Nipes. Biglang lubosot itong si Ryan Costello. Nahuli siya ng ating referee. Oraime, backing down, Quinto. Ninabas ang bola. Biteng, lost his footing. That's traveling. Not being allowed to take that three-point shot. Good defense, Jam Ortuste. But where is the offense of Jam, which was so evident in the first half? Jam Ortuste, di binibigyan ng mga opportunities para tumira. Perhaps now is the time to go back to finding Jamil Ortuste. Here he is. Umatake. Ortuste. Binagsak ang bola. Kalisaan. Umatras. Back to Costello. Costello. Umatake. Floater over Oraime. Wala. Rebound. Justin Serrano. It's Mapua basketball. Jos Animes. Zigzagging his way to the rack. Binabas ang bola. Menina from the corner. Well, you know, the same kind of pass that I was expecting from Ryan Costello to get Jam Ortuste involved in the offense. Nimes to Biteng, drives baseline, Ezekiel Biteng, and Oraime is down on the floor. He's holding on to his left foot. This is not a good development para sa panic ng Mapua. Bukang uh, may naapakan itong si Olwell Oraime, but he's 
back on his feet. He's walking back to the other side. Pero panorin muna natin itong fast play of the game. Brought to you by Smart Live the Smart Life. Well, ito, balik, balikan muna natin si Allwell or Ryan. Eh. No, he seems all well. <laughs> okay naman siya. Okay naman daw siya. So, medyo pinakabalan niya ng konti si Coach Ato. Eh. Tapos, nung sabi ni Coach Ato, eh, upo ka na. Hindi, okay lang, Coach. I'm okay. Six minutes and 59 seconds and the legend, the fortune cookie, Coach Atoy Ko. Looking for another winning streak. Ito na, pinakamagandang season ng Mapua under Coach Atoy Ko. As I mentioned, his first season, two wins. Second season, four wins. Ngayon, meron ng limang panalo. He's looking for win number six. And of course, always, always supporting him is uh, wife Monet. Ito si Coach Atoy Ko. Alam mo, naglalaro pa sa Chris pa yan, eh. Grabe na yung suporta. And uh, one more thing, no? Above 60 na yan si Coach Atoy. Pero alam mo, naglalaro pa yan, ha? No, yung mga All-Star Games, nakukumbida pa yan. No? The legendary fade away nito si Coach Atoy ko. Nakikita pa rin natin yan. Ang isa sa mga lagi kinikwento sa akin ni Coach Atoy ko, siya daw yun ang pauso ng 360 fade away. No, totoo yan. Totoo yan. 360 fade away, Coach. Ibang klase yun. Nakaharap sa ring, pero iikot, tapos doon pa rin, doon na naman babalik. Doon pa rin. Oo, oo. Hindi back to the basket, ha? <laughs> Hindi naka back to the basket. At saka yung moving three-point shot, yun, Coach Atoy ko yun. The fortune cookie, the one and only Coach Atoy ko trying to lead Mapua to the final four as they host season 91 of the NCAA. Full court pressure, pinapakita ng San Sebastian ngayon. Nimes, umatake. Nimes with a floater. Josa Nimes, labing apat na putos na. Na pa, no? Pang uh, six point niya na yan, actually coming from that kind of a shot. No, parang nagre-ready na uh, sa professional basketball. Hindi naman kailangan laging power play na lamang. It's gonna be open shot. Michael Kalisaan. Look who's there to get that rebound. Bumawi. Itong si Ryan Costello. Lampas na. Itong si Costello sa kanyang average of 12.7 points per game. Costello with 14 points. Nimes nakalusot sa depensa. Josa Nimes Pero tinawagan ng offensive foul. Well, caught warding off that time was Josan Nimes. Sana hindi niya nagkinamit eh. Kaya ito, balikan natin itong uh, offensive putback na to ni Ryan Costello. A strong move of the game brought to you by Smart Live the Smart Life. Stay tuned mga kababayan because after this match, I think mapapanood a good one. Red Lions versus the Heavy Bombers of JRU. Jamil Ortuste. Ayan na naman, ang una puntos ni Jamil dito sa second half. He's got 20 points. At kung kailan talagang importante, importante, pumutok. Itong si Bradwin Quinto, tsaka ito si Jamil Ortuste. I think this is the perfect time. Going to crunch time, 5 and 30 remaining. Just an 8-point lead for Mapua. Nimes, umatake. Nimes with a floater. And he sends that baby home again. And I don't know how you're able, or how you'll be able to block that kind of a shot. Fabian, pinasa sa labas. Costello, bit in. That's an air ball. Kalisan with a save to the wrong man. Cross court pass. Nimes. Buminto, pinasa kay Branya. What a setup job by Josa Nimes. And you know, that's a broken play. Tumulas na yung bola, eh, no? But he knew where Mark Branya was, and that would mean another two points. 79, 67, 12 point lead for Mapua Cardinals. Wag po kayong alis, magbabalik po. Season 91 ng NCAA, ilabas ang galing. In the pong napapano that season 91 ng NCAA, smile, you're on cam. Yes, you see yourself on the big screen. Dino sa arena sa lungsod ng San Juan. Kaya naman, kung gusto niyo mapanood ang nagbabagang aksyon na handog sa inyo ng mga ballers ng Season 91 ng NCA, just watch us every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, 2 to 6 p.m. on your TV screens. Or better yet, come here and watch the games live sa arena sa Luxod ng San Juan. We have a lot of people watching us on TV. Ang ating colleagues, si Coach Hammer, Martin Antonio, ang kanyang lola, watching this game. Sana nag-enjoy kayo. At uh, ang aking teammate na si Rich Santos, Mahilig mag-crossover yan. Pinapanood din tayo. Thank you guys for checking out the game. And this is an intense one as Ortuste short on his triple. 
emphatic rebound by Mark Rania, making sure no more second chance point on the part of San Sebastian. This is not yet over, but with this big shot, the veteran Mark Rania, slowly but surely, no, kahit na hindi mo siya masyado nararamdaman, he's doing a lot of things for Coach Atoy. Costello inside pass. Gito, bothered by the defense of Allwell Oraime. Agawan para sa loose ball. Kalisan picks it up and scores. Not giving up on the play. To si Michael Kalisan. No, they still have a chance, but they've got to make the big stop. Below the four minute mark of this ball game. Inside drive. And a foul called. As Stephen Q absorbs the contact, foul is on Bradwin Ginto. Ikaapat na foul niya ni Ginto. Hesitation move by Stephen Q faking a pass to the corner. Dumerecho, Sarin, at nakapuntos. You know, again, from the just a three-point shooting Stephen Q in the first round, you see him finishing here with a lot of uh, power moves. Sayang yung laki ng katawan niya, no? Kapag hindi nagagamitin nga naman sa mga ganong uh, klase mga, mga layup. And that's gonna be six points in the last two minutes. Coach Ed Cordero telling them, you have to find where Jam or Tuesday is. He cannot even take that open shot. 23 points for Jamil or Tuesday to lead all scores. Wag po kayong alis magbabalik po. Season 91 ng NCAA. Ayan na, mga estudyante. Mula sa Jose Rizal University, waiting for our second game ngayong Webes. At magbabangga ng Heavy Bombers at ang Red Lions, five-time champions, San Beda College. Pero ito muna, Mapua, trying to complete another win and duplicate their win against San Sebastian in the first round. And you know, this is where the difference of the... Um of the uh, points of Jam or Tuesdays in the first half, six out of nine when he started the ball game, 67%. And since then, ito nga, two out of eight, 25%. Pero more importantly, itong last four shots niya, dalawa doon, ang uh, natikada or nashoot itong si Jam or Tuesday. Five three-pointers in the game for Jamil or Tuesday. But tano may bala pa ba na binaon itong kubran ng San Sebastian because they are down by 11 right now well, still plenty of time remaining still 3 and 14 that's gonna be 5 fouls that's gonna be big somebody was much needed in rebounding Bradwin Ginto is out of this ball game with still 3 minutes and 14 seconds remaining Bradwin Gito, the number two rebounder in the NCAA, has fouled out. So that's bad news for the San Sebastian side because the number one rebounder, Allwell Oraime, has only a Jason David and Akalisaan to box him out. Steven Q, na libre sa labas. Rebound or toste. Kailangan ng mga puntos ng San Sebastian. Costello, binalik kay Ortuste. Back to Costello. Costello to Kalisaan. Kalisaan, baseline jumper is good. At sumabit itong si Branya. And these are the jumpers made being uh, being tasked by coach Rodney Santos, Michael Kalisaan. Huwag ka na mag-hesitate. Kailangan mabilis tayong makashoot. Although there was a challenge, sumabit, good call by the refs. And one para kay Michael Kalisaan. Michael Kalisaan, second playing year, kanyang idol, si Pau Gasol. It's rare that you hear somebody say na Pau Gasol ang kanyang idol sa power forward position. Michael Kalisaan, ang pampato ng Santa Rita, Pampanga. Also elevated from the San Sebastian Statlitz High School Basketball Program. Approaching the final two minutes of this game. Mapua 5-5, five five, the team standing. San Sebastian 3-8. and eight. Imes fires from beyond the arc. Too strong. Branya with the offensive rebound. Menina 
Too strong. Pratya pa rin. At nakakuha. Teka, naagawan. Michael Calisan with a steal. Costello goes baseline. Ortuste lets it go. Too short. At babalik ang bola sa panic ng Papua. Not giving up on the play. Ryan Costello, sayang. But not being able to hold on to that ball. Two minutes and nine seconds. First time we saw them, no? Actually, this is going to be the second time. Half-court trap being shown by San Sebastian. Tatayan natin sa first round matchup. Papua scored the last nine points of the game. San Sebastian did not score in the final two minutes. They need a reversal of that situation today. Nieles, Biten, rebound Kalisan. Ito na ang Golden Stags. Pumarangkada. Costello, right through the defense. At may foul na tinawag. Costello has had clutch moments in the NCAA this season. Walang takot na sumasaksak sa puso ng depensa ng Mapua. Well, could have been a perfect time for him, no? When he heard the whistle, dapat tinira niya na. Could have meant two free throws. A minute and 37 seconds remaining. Pakinggan natin itong huddle ni the slasher, Coach Rodney Santos ng San Sebastian. Well, we can see here, no? Uh, sinasabi nga talaga nito si Coach Rodney, one, one minute and 37 seconds alang to. They have to be able to set up. Very important for this play. Either they make a quick two or set up for a three-point shot to make it just a two-possession ball game. This is still plenty of time remaining, Anton. Kalisan off an inbound play. Bitin, and look who's there for the rebound. And that was not even two seconds. Just a six-point lead. This is what I'm saying. Back to their 1-2-2, two, two, is it? Jason David from Pampanga has a Pueba-like energy. And he gets a putback for the Golden Stags. It's crunch time. And who does Papua go to? The captain, Josa Nimes, with a spin. Josa Nimes. Biten, Nimes with the rebound, throws it out, but steps on the baseline. And you know, since employing the 1 2 2 defense, huh? Mapua has not scored against San Sebastian. And look at this stop. Do we see it? Ayan. Yes, umapak sa baseline. Ito si Josa Nimes. Clarado, clarado po. Isan na namang panibagong pagkakataon para sa San Sebastian. Na maibaba ang kalamangan. There's gonna be another foul called on Mapua. Hand-checking foul. They want to isolate Ryan Costello. And that would mean two free throws. Will it be down to five to four points? Very important free throws for a guy who's been playing splendid basketball. Costello's an 84% free throw shooter. He's got 15 points in the game. Another good game for the starting point guard. Ng San Sebastian, Ryan Costello. And you have to give it to San Sebastian for not giving up. Remember, Bradwin Quinto was out of the ball game, 3 minutes and 13 seconds, and the spin. A nice run on the part of San Sebastian ever since. JP Nieles to Orwell Oraime. Easy basket for Mabua. And that's going to be big. Back to a three possession ball game. At naagaw na mabuha ang bola. Nimes wants the basketball. Nimes gets it and Nimes scores. Back-to-back wow. -back baskets for the top two scores ng Mabua, Orwell Oraime, and Josa Nimes creating some separation. Shot na puntos na 
ang kalamang ng Cardinals with 45 seconds to go. Balikan natin itong huddle ni Coach Rodney Santos. time anymore that's why they have to really employ a three-point shot uh, to at least put it down to a two possession ball game but first this nice pass to Olwell Oraime nice defense and there to finish is the veteran Josan Nimes are you sure it's just 80 percent of what he usually is and done sabi niya 80 percent ng daw siya recovered this is first game since August 4 Jamil Ortuste, that would have been huge, but an offensive rebound. Ortuste fires again, wala pa rin. Rebound, the number one guy in the NCAA, Allwell Oraime David. Meron siyang iniindang sakit ngayon. While battling for a rebound against Oraime, Nimes wants to put the nail in the coffin. Malisan bothered Nimes. Babalik ang bola sa panic ng San Sebastian. San Sebastian, wala ng timeouts. Coach Atoy Ko, meron pang dalawang timeouts. Kumbaga sa tennis, unforced error. Pinakita doon nitong si Josan Nimes. But it's no longer mathematically possible with only 19.5 seconds remaining. All that Mapua has to do here is make the stop. Mapua, sensing their second straight win to open up the second round of eliminations. The men's basketball tournament of season 91 of NCAA. Coach Atoy Ko, look at him, he's going. He is beside himself right now, he's, he's ecstatic. Sabi nga kanina ni Roxanne, he's an emotional guy. And look at that, Coach Atoy, ang saya-saya. Very youthful energy being shown by the fortune cookie. Atoy. Look at the reaction. Maganda, maganda yun, maganda yun. Because, in his first two seasons, naka anim na wins combined si Coach Atoy Ko. Six wins this season, matching the first two years, then, Coach Atoy Ko. Then, nung tumakbo siya, parang nagsasorry siya kay Coach Rodney, no? Then, nakalimutan niya pumunta sa gitna. But of course, Coach Rodney, being the sportsman that he is, acknowledges that, that action by, um, of course, the veteran, Coach Atoy Ko. And the Fortune Cookie leads Mapua to another victory, 87 to 78, magbabalik po ang NCAA Season 91 to wrap up this win by the Cardinals. Nakarating na po tayo sa dulo ng ating unang bakbakan ngayong Webes kung saan nanalo ang Mapua kontra sa San Sebastian. Final score, 87 to 78, 6-5 na ang kartada ng kumunan ni Coach Atoy Ko na napakasaya sa panalong ito, Coach AG. Well, alam naman natin, no, ng unang game, 88-86, ngayon 87 naman. Again, ang score ng Papua. Sweep ng Cardinals ang uh, Golden Stags sa season 91 ng NCAA. Puntahan natin ngayon ang best player ng ating laban at courtside with Roxanne Montelegre. Yes, Anton. Hi, Jocelyn. Congratulations. Despite having, coming from an injury and having a big win from the previous game, you were you performed so well here. So what else can we expect from you? Uh, well, the three games I miss, I really have to, you know, catch up. But uh, we're trying to get this win streak going, so we have momentum going to the final four. That's good. And is it extra motivation that your parents came all the way from Arizona just to watch you play? Yeah, of course. I was a little nervous because my parents haven't watched me live in a while. But uh, of course, it was extra motivation. Not just my parents, but uh, my titas from Australia came, my ate. So uh, I really had a lot of family here today. So it was a little nerve-wracking, but uh, of course, it's extra motivation for me. Anton, you have any questions? Yeah, uh, Josan, is there something extra that you're feeling knowing that you've never tasted the final four in the NCAA, you're playing in your last year? How, what do you want to give to the Mapuan community before you 
finally leave to play in the pros. What, the, what do you want to be your legacy for the team? Uh, I mean, we haven't reached the finals in a long time, so I want to be part of that team that reaches the finals. So I, I think that's what I want to accomplish this year. Well, you know, you're just half a game short of uh, JRU, and he, that's a big uh, two-game winning streak, no? For uh, Jordan Nimes. Well, welcome back to uh, the second round, and uh, you're just playing well. And uh, we just wish to congratulate you, Jota. Congratulations on this victory. Wala pa rin talo. Um, Mapua, in the second round, they improved to 6-5, and five, Coach AG. Well, big game for Jota Nimes coming off the bench to start the ball game. Showed a lot of leadership, showed a lot of energy. And in the end, it was really a Mapua show. And they were able to sustain that kind of, of offense that they had since the start of the ball game. Mapua tagumpay sa pagbabalik ng kanilang team captain na si Johnson Nimes against San Sebastian. Final score 87 to 78. Pero hindi pa tayo tapos dahil sa ating susunod na laban. It's a good one. The JRU Heavy Bombers will try to detonate against the five-time champions of the NCAA San Beda College. Red Lions, Andre Felix, Siege Natenko, and Vince Bustos will join you for that coverage. So stay right here on ABS-CBN Sports and Action. Sa ngala ni Direk Raul Deo Campo, Roxanne Montealegre, Coach A.G. Alan Gregorio, at ng lahat ng mga bumubo ng ABS-CBN Sports, ako po ang inyong lingkod, Anton Rojas, nagsasabing wag po kayong alis dahil susunod na ang laban sa pagitan ng JRU at San Beda College dito lang sa Season 91 ng NCAA, ilabas ang galing.